Court is calling 2024 CR 009363W, State versus Tawana Turner. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Andy Wells, Defense. Defense. for Ms. Turner. And are you Ms. Turner? All right, you're no. going to need to keep your voice up so the court reporter can hear, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right, counsel, have you received all of the discovery? Yes, Your Honor. And did you review it with your client? Yes, Your Honor. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Uh, Ms. Turner, did you review the document entitled Application for Deferred Adjudication with your attorney? Did you understand it and sign it? Yes, ma'am. And state, are you proceeding on the information as presented? Uh, yes, Judge, to be for possession less than. Replaces? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand you're charged with possession of a controlled substance penalty group one, less than one gram? Yes. That's a state jail felony. Range of punishment is anywhere from 180 days up to two years in the state jail facility and yes. up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes. Did you understand if the court were to grant your application for deferred adjudication, if for any reason your deferred adjudication were revoked, the court could find you guilty and sentence you up to two years in the state jail facility and up to a $10,000 fine? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? Yes, Your Honor. Do you believe she has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against her? Yes, Your Honor. Do you believe she's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? My opinion, she is competent, Your Honor. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived her right to jury trial. Did you review the plea bargain page with your attorney and did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. According to the plea, there's a $1,000 fine. State recommends you receive deferred adjudication to be a drug court evaluation. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes, ma'am. Defense, is that the plea? Yes, Your Honor. State, is that the plea? Yes, Judge. Did you, the state is requesting that your deferred adjudication be for a term of three years. There be a TAP evaluation and 150 hours of community service restitution. Did you understand that was recommendation from the state and the court does not have to follow that recommendation? Yes, ma'am. Then to the offenses charge, how do you, you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? No contest. State, any evidence? State all proceeds to civil one and all attachments. No objection, Your Honor. All right. Did you find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations? Court will accept into evidence state's exhibits one and attachments, and the court will review the same. And for the work record, are you the person listed in the police report as Tawana L. Amin Adams? Yes, ma'am. All right. After viewing state's exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there's sufficient evidence to find you guilty. Court will defer finding of guilt as you apply for deferred adjudication. Uh, are we pre proceeding with sentencing in this case? Yes, Your Honor. All right. So before we proceed with sentencing in this case, let's take up the motion to revoke. Are we still going to be going forward on the motion to revoke or no? No, Your Honor. The state was going to uh, file a motion to withdraw uh, just so that it could be termed on SAT and so that the uh, Probation can be continued on here. All right. Any objection with regards to the motion to revoke? No, Judge. I do want to make the court aware that um, the case actually expired August the 21st, 2024. Um, so a motion to withdraw and then term on SAT um, would be fine with probation, Judge, if that's what the state wants to do. We did. Just for your information, Judge, in February, completed a top, a top evaluation, and the top evaluation came back with a recommendation of dual diagnosis outpatient treatment, mm -hmm. along with monthly urinalysis and sober support meetings. Okay. Then we will proceed with sentencing in this case. So, are you, when's the last time you had employment? July, no, June the 11th, because we got stopped on the 12th on my daughter's graduation. So June the 11th was my last day working. I was at Church's Chicken, located on San Pedro and Bass Road. All right. And who is James? Reckon? Yes, to you. My son. All right. And who is Jocelyn Martinez? My daughter-in-law. All right. And how old is James Rector? 31. All right. It appears that you all are not setting good examples for for each other based upon this police report. So it appears that everybody's been using. Is that correct? 
everybody been using to? Yes. I mean, the vehicle, when it was pulled over, they said there was a smell of marijuana. Yes. And then, according to this, you had drugs uh, in your bra. Yes. That's an issue. And that's a problem. So is your son on any type of probation? No. Do you have any grandchildren? 11. All right. Do you have, and, and your biological children, how old are they? What are their ages? 36, 34, 29, 19, and 31. So if you were released, who would you be living with? My 34-year-old. She's here. All right. And who's your 34-year-old? Johnetta Henderson. Same one that's always here. Okay. Um, she's in yellow. All right. So when's the last time, uh, June 12th, the 2024, is that the last time you used or no? I haven't used. I've been clean. Okay. Yes. So okay. how did, when did you start using? I haven't. No. I mean, at some point in time in your life, you used drugs. So when did you start? How old were you? 18. And what drugs have you used in the past? There was marijuana. Oh, in the past, marijuana, crack cocaine, uh, cocaine, um, and heroin. And then the meth that was in this case, had you ever used meth before? No meth. But you had it in your bra? Mm -hmm. Okay. And mental health issues, have you had any diagnosis? Yes. All right, what's your diagnosis been? ADHD, bipolar one, and PTSD. Is there anything else I should know? No, ma'am. All right. Uh, can I have her relative come up? Yes. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Can you raise your right hand for me, please? Do you solemnly swear and affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, ma'am. All right, you can lower your hand, state your name for the record. Jimmy Henderson. All right, and so are you related to Miss Turner? Yes, ma'am. And how are you related to her? That's my mother. All right. So do you have any children in your home? Yes, ma'am. And what are their ages? 16, 13, 12, and 10, and then my sister. Oh, and your sister? Okay. And she's 19? Yes. So who all would be living in the home? It's your children, your sister, you, and then your mother? Mm -hmm. And are you okay with your mother living with you? Yes. All right. So in this court, when I give people conditions of probation, everybody has different con conditions. I don't have a cookie cutter set thing where everybody does this and everybody does that. I try to do conditions that can help the specific person that's before me. So what do you think your mom needs to help her to be successful on probation? Trick question, not a trick question. What, what kind of conditions can I give her to help her? For example, some people up here before me, they have children, so I know they need parenting classes. Mm -hmm. Some people have anger management problems, so I know that they may need some help with their anger management. What does she need, do you think? Oh, yeah, just tell me. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. The drug court. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for letting me know. And that's the type of honesty I need, because guess what? I always tell people when they appear before me, if I... If you tell me you don't have a drug problem and I send you out into the world mm -hmm. and you end up using, that's 100% on you. Mm -hmm. But if you tell me I ha you have a drug problem and I send you on the out in the world without giving you any help, then that's sort of on me because you've said, judge, help me. I have a drug problem. So I'm glad you let me know that. So we're gonna, I'm going to give her some treatment for that to make sure that that's not an issue or at least she can recognize what an issue is and then take care of it. Because the last thing you need is somebody who may be using ended up over your children because then that means that child protective services is going to get involved. You understand? All right. So drug court, anything else? All right. Thank you so much for letting me know. I appreciate it. And thank you for coming back to support her. Yes, All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
All righty, if you'll come back. All right. So I want you to know, one, not your daughter's fault, right? Mm -hmm. Your daughter loves you. Yes. She wants you to be successful. I'm sure she doesn't want her mom to end up going to prison for two years because then that'll be two years that she won't see you. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to set conditions for you. And these are going to be conditions that can help you. I know that uh, probation, I know that drug court, they're sort of full. So I'm going to try her with Esperanza court. And Esperanza Court, they'll be able to see you this week or either next week at the latest. And if they don't see you next week, your attorney can come back and I'll see you next week. OK. And I want you to be 100 percent honest with them. And they're going to try to get you into uh, a situation where you can be successful on this probation. OK. How far did you go in school? No. All right. So what do you want to do with the rest of your life? If you could have your dream job, what would it be? No, you can. What do you want to do? When you were a little girl, who did you want to be? What did you want to grow up to be? Pediatric nurse in Houston. All right. So let me explain something to you. You look at your life and you know what you say? I can never accomplish that, right? There was a guy, because I always go to the drug court graduations. There was a guy there who had all of these criminal cases, but he always wanted to be an attorney. And people will tell you, when you have criminal cases in your background, anything that you need a license for, the government does a background check. And when they see this criminal history, they'll say no. But guess what? He's an attorney. Mm -hmm. And you know what ended up happening? He graduated. He went to law school. And in law school, he let them know prior to going to law school, this is how I changed my life. And they actually had a board to meet with him. A board of individuals say, hey, why should we give you this license? He passed the bar and everything. And then he told them how he became addicted to drugs, how he changed his life around. And you know what they, he said they told him? Thank you for letting us know. We think you'll be good for the profession. So it's not something that's impossible. You just made it difficult. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to do 150 hours community service restitution. And if you obtain your GED or if you get some sort of uh, go to some sort of trade school and get your certificate, I'll consider the 150 hours of community ser service restitution satisfied. All right. Yes. And we'll do um, referral to Center for Healthcare Services. And if she's if not accepted into Esperanza court. We'll follow uh, TAP recommendations. And that's from the February TAP. Thank you, Judge. I do want to point out, Judge, that Ms. Adams was on the Nick caseload. Okay. I would like to request from the court uh, mental health evaluation okay. out of custody if it's going to you know, take a while. All right. Well, um, so that we can make sure that she is still being supported that way. All right, so we'll do Mick evaluation out of custody. Is there anything else? I don't, I don't believe so, Judge. All right, is there anything else you need from the court to be successful? No, mm ma'am. -hmm. All right, did you review the document entitled Trial Court Certification of Defendant's Rights to Appeal with your attorney? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand it and sign it? Yes, ma'am. All right, because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waive your right to your your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? Yes, sir. All right, we can go off the record. Here's the thing, I know this seems like a lot, right? And you probably thought, I'm getting out of jail today. And so not getting out of jail today probably has hit you like a ton of bricks. But this is what you have to realize. In life, it takes time to be where you wanna be and it takes a lot of work. So the question you have to ask yourself, would you rather go to Ex Esperanza Court and probably have 100%, well, 99% chance of completing this successfully or not go to Esperanza, Esperanza Court and probably have a 10% chance of completing this successfully. This is something that you need. And once you get your life together and you do everything right, I'm sure your grandchildren would be happy to have 
their grandmother in their life and your children, right? Yes, sir. So in this court, communication is key. If there's an issue, let your probation officer know. Even if you think you're going to use again, let your pro probation officer know. If they're not addressing it, you can always come back to the court. I'm always here Monday through Friday. Okay. All right. Good Thank luck you. to you, okay? I'm rooting for you. Thank you. All right. Let's get the facts straight. She loves a verbal ashtray. Never blowing smoke when she gets pissed. She's quick to castrate. Love her on a good day. Love her on a bad day. Either way.